Welcome to 100 Days Fjorder. My mother told me someday I will buy Gully with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to the haven, too many foemen. Send word to Kruger. It's time to speak to him in a language that he will understand. I do not fear these men, nor any others that would try and harm us. <laughs> For death and glory, I am declaring war. I hope you have your popcorn ready because we're about to start the ride. And before your fingers get too buttery, why don't you leave a like and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I started off by picking up some beachside pebbles and had a sudden feeling come over me that I was being watched. Um, hello? Now that I knew I wasn't alone, I needed to protect myself, so I got to work on primitive tools and primitive clothing because this map was hella cold. I spotted some washed up crates on the beach. Not sure what caused the shipwreck, but hey, I got free metal tools, I'm not complaining. The order is truly a breathtaking map, it's also peaceful. Well that is until I saw this flying rock, and I bear witness to the stranger befriending the local wildlife. And I was kinda jealous, I also wanted my own friend, so I made some bowlers in a club chose to bowler this local parasaur and beat him into submission to become my friend. But um, he had a big brother nearby and now I needed to run for my life. Luckily the Rex was quickly distracted by some other yummy snacks and I was able to return to grab myself this glowing object which was called a Fjorda Rune. I now had a buff of XP but still no friend just yet. So I decided to spend my first night making a small shelter cooking up some nice juicy medium rare steaks and going to lie down, contemplating why the hell I just started another 100 days. These are so much work, but hey, you guys seem to really like them. The next morning I sat out with a heart determined to make my first friend. I found these nearby honey rocks and also learned that cows are total bullies. What? What? Why are you so angry? Well, that is until you pet Seriously. them. Seriously, am I gonna die? What's the saying? Kill them with kindness? I then found another nearby parasaur and bowled it up. Started beating it into submission, but I got bullied yet again. Seriously? Again? Clearly the local burger meat didn't want me having my first friend, so I had to retreat. Why he? Oh, are you happy? I hope you guys are happy. But just up the hill I found a lonely parasaur. About as lonely as my stomach that was already making the rumblies and I knew I needed to do this tame quickly. I bowled him up a second time, went in for the beatdown, but I had to fall back. Come on, go down, go down, go down, go down. As my yeah. hunger got the better of me. I need to run away. Broken bones. <laughs> oh, barely making it. Filling up my tummy, I went looking for my friend. Where are you, buddy? And I managed to hear her walking nearby, so I bowled her up yet again, beat her down, grabbed up some berries, and my first friend was about to tame up as I made her her saddle, named her Felicia, and walked back to my little thatch hut. I then wanted to experiment with the Echo Homeland mods and make myself a cart. But I needed metal, so I went out on an expedition to look for it. What is this? This is awesome. Yes, I also learned that you can only tame the baby cows. Your baby, tell me your uh, But finding them was you. pretty hard. Not as hard as finding bugs on the beach, but hey, free chitin and free meat. So I went back to base, cooked up the steaks and made some hay bales for the cow, and this was a pretty interesting system. That's so weird. After I made all the compacted hay bales, I finally discovered my very first baby. 
tamed him up and named him Sebastian, and we then wandered back to the little thatch hut. Well, that's until he died. Little Sebastian just died. Did he starve? Now let's just pretend that didn't happen and I didn't forget that you had to feed babies. As I luckily found a replacement nearby, so I tamed up the new Sebastian and left him by his parents, went searching for Meadow and found yet another baby, tamed her up and named her Michelle, and went exploring and finally saw some metal nodes, but it was at the bottom of a cliff with no way down to it. Michelle and Sebastian simply wouldn't be safe on this journey. So I took them back to base, left them safely at the thatch hut, and the next morning safely dropped down to the bottom of the cliff and started farming up the last missing resources I would need to make my very first cart. I now had everything and was able to make it, but got a bit interrupted. Excuse me, Mr. Stego. Excuse me. I'm in the middle of recording. Excuse me, kind sir. Uh, Alright, whatever. I got a wang in. I felt super proud of my little mobile home, then went farming for everything for a feeding trough so the two little babies could be nice and well fed. I mean, we don't want another repetition of Sebastian now, do we? The next morning I dropped down my forges so I could start smelting up all the metal that I had farmed up the previous day. I then went out in search of some hide and even Felicia got her hands dirty and helped me. I got back to see Michelle had a random new mother but still needed my imprint so back off lady. I wanted to protect my younglings by placing some spikes around us, made some mortar and pestles as well as the most important crafting station, a smithy. Another successful day as we sat back and enjoyed the evening sky. Hello? Is anybody there? But the quiet was um, interrupted. Hello there. Yeah, I'm Sizen. So I invited this stranger in to hear all about his life story. I had a couple of tames that just got brutally murdered by saber tooth lions and I, I it's been it's been rough. All I have is uh the T-Rex and the Moz chops out there, so if uh, if you can teach me how to make one of these carts then I think we can do some crazy stuff. I don't know what crazy stuff he was talking about, but hey, another friend. As we both made our carts, packed up everything we owned, and we went off on a pneumatic adventure. After searching for some safe terrain, seeing this haven of cows, and spotting a abandoned village nearby, we knew this would be where we want to set up shop. So we went in, each claimed up one of our own cabins, parked our trailers and got ready to go to work. I am off on an adventure to get some sp uh, crystal. Wish me luck. Good luck. This cow is so fast. This is so much fun. <laughs> I then stumbled upon yet another rune on my search for crystal and then stumbled upon the Deinonychus nest location. Hey, I got a sickle. Nice. And after clearing out all the nests to find whatever I could, I went searching elsewhere and found some pigs. Ooh, I see the new little piggy things. There's pigs? Yeah, like the, the Andrew... Andrew... Oh, the Andrew Sarkis? Yeah. But after a full day of unsuccessful searching, I had to run back to base as quick as possible. As Sizen informed me, my teams were under attack. I'm coming, I'm trying to come. I, I kind of don't know where we are. Since we weren't in the same tribe, he couldn't do much, and raptors were closing in on my cows, and then I saw it. We're roughly at 4375. Oh, no, Michelle died. Michelle's life was claimed by raptors, so please pay some respect and spam Rip Michelle in the comments section for this tragic loss. I still rushed as fast as I could to the village to take my revenge. Where are you, raptors? But it wasn't possible. I knocked them out. Since Sizen had tamed them. I'm taming them, so please don't kill them. I wasn't very happy, and I was definitely searching around to destroy them, but he beat me to it and finished up taming. Stupid. I think you'll be happy to know that I have a male and female. I don't care. I don't care if it's male and female. They ate Michelle. But now I need food, because I am slowly dying. <laughs> Just check their belly. There might be some leftovers. I then placed down some spikes in the hope that what had just happened the night before would never happen again, and then went searching for Crystal yet again. I dropped down the pin location so I wouldn't get lost. I'm gonna be honest with you, Kruger, I think we're gonna need wings to find Crystal. But flyers will only be allowed once we have all the artifacts, oh. so I tried to tame another steed. Can we be friends? Ow. 
but they weren't very friendly. I see a Rex off in the distance that yeah. I would love to add to my team. Sizen was adding Rexes. I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. And I was still being bullied by hogs. And don't you love how on cue Ark's pooping system always is? Do I need to feed them anything while they're raising? A berries that are like babies. Okay. And finally, I spotted it. Crystal. What I've been searching for the last two days. And finally, I could make my very first spyglass and spot some high-level dinos. And finally, I could start taming. So I went to make everything that I needed and went to have a nice, relaxing evening. Can't you come and join me by the campfire? It's a beautiful night. In the early AMs of day eight, and I've got a parasaur and a cow. Yeah, well, I'm wearing cloth armor. We were definitely not progressing as fast as we normally did, so I knew day 8 would be a big one as I went to tame up an Anki as well as an Argy. I started by the Anki and shot it in the face until it ran and finally gave the final shot needed and it went down. I stuffed it with berries and went to place my Argy trap and got ready to shoot it for the aggro, but this oversized pigeon nearly ended my life and took care of all of my armor in a single hit. Luckily I got it safely in the trap and then started shooting it in the face until it finally went down. Filled it up with some prime meat and waited for it to tame up. I named the Argy Tangent and the Anki Boulder and took both of them safely back to our little campsite. I then repaired some of my armor, made the saddles and some furniture that included a bed so I could have a nice relaxing evening. The next morning, me and Sizen were off on another pneumatic adventure in the search for some more tames. Oh, I see you, I see you, Mr. Microraptor, you asshole. I then got bullied by a little Microraptor, bolo, 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 and you bolo, know bolo, what bolo. we do with bullies. We bolo them, shoot them in the oh, face, nice. and we befriend them. We then searched around for some more runes, and we stumbled upon a location with so many overs. Oh, wow. This is overs value. Definitely a place to take a mental note of. See what's in front of me. We spotted some more hogs and we were determined to try and tame them this time. So I hopped on the back of a low level and rode kicking and screaming into the sunset until he was mine. Nice. I then went to help Sizen tame his up and I noticed mine got slaughtered by another Andrusarchus. What? What? Why? Why one already died? Maybe they didn't like him deflecting to the human team. Oh wait, you're still on the wild one. Yeah. No, I mean, this is mine now. Sizen tamed his up. Base is down. And I was super jealous, but I was also super lost. Even though I had a pin down, navigating this map without a bird's eye view is definitely not the easiest. Although once we finally have all the artifacts, we will be allowed to fly. Be around here somewhere. I could have sworn it was up here on the right. And with that, we were about to meet our first guest. Oh. Jeffrey, did you hear that? It wasn't you, so what was it? Uh. Uh. Um, hello there. Hello? I have a club, and I'm not afraid to use it. Stay back. Yeah, uh, don't worry, we're just two friendly um, fellow survivors. And this is Sizen, and I am Kruger. Oh, well howdy boys. The name's Alexander, and this... This is Jeffrey. Since we were both super tired, the stranger agreed to come meet us in a few days at our village. I then sat out on the morning of day 10 in search for a new cow. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell happened to Sebastian? Well, it's funny you ask that question. There is a turtle here. The viewers. So you're gonna be like, I know it's somewhere around here. I'm gonna be like, yeah, I could have sworn it's up here on the right. During the recording session, someone got a little bit trigger happy. Oops. And ended up killing Sebastian with an admin gun. What? What? Ayinodon, seriously? I foolishly forgot the Parasaur had a fearing roar and Felicia was no more. It was sakes. This was definitely not my day. Wait, is that a baby cow I see? But it was about to turn around when I spotted a baby green cow. No. Tamed it up. The bugs. But happiness quickly turned to sadness. No. <laughs> I then spotted a somewhat okay level Rex near to base, made it up to a cliff and started shooting it until it started running and finally got the final arrow needed nice. and it went down. Now Sizen wasn't the only one with a Rex anymore. That evening I finally tamed up another cow, made the saddle the next morning and spotted yet another cow in our very own village. I then dropped down a water well as well as started expanding on my cart to make it farm ready. I then went to grab a ton of wood so I could make torches to hatch up my Deinonychus to have yet another tame that I could run around with. We then also discovered the wardrobe and these had some amazing skins. Kruger, look what I managed to craft. You have smokes and you didn't offer me one? 
I'm, I'm a little bit stressed, okay? Well, can I have a cigarette? You want a cigarette or a pipe? A pipe would be nice. Oh, yeah. Well, I reckon we should be on our way. Sizen asked me to show him the crystal location, but after nearly running down a cliff of darkness, we decided to wait for the morning light. I was also just in time for my Danonicus to hatch, as well as our first visitor. Oh, hello there. Man just dropped a raptor claw. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. I don't know what the hell that thing is, Oh. but I want one. We then sat out for Crystal yet again and spotted some more guests. And if you didn't know, this was played on open server. It's about to be nightfall again, though. And if you ever want to join in the future, be sure to join the Discord. Oh, I see Crystal. So Sizen farmed up the Crystal and we got ready to go home. All right, oh. I seriously need water. But some kitty cats had other plans for us. We should be coming up on water, right? Oh, saber, 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 saber. I'm trying, I'm trying. They're all dead. They're all dead. I'm naked. I'm naked and afraid. That was a close call, man. I'm gonna go dig in for water. Nice. I found some. Sizen managed to find me some water. Thank, thank you. And after thank replenishing my thirst, we finally made it back home and I did some imprinting. Go, Sheila. I then repaired all my armor. I did not enjoy and that. And noticed our guest. It is. Is that our, our friend over there? Oh, howdy. Howdy. See, your village is going well. You never actually told us what you were doing in these lands. Well, I am here with my very special partner. She's in town selling some of the paintings. Some of the folks around here might know me as Bob Rossick. I've seen some of your art. It's honestly amazing. Thank you. We're saving up for a ship, a majestic galley. We have plans to sail to an island that she's always wanted to visit. Well, gentlemen, I have a mission for you. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. I'm looking to get my hands on a hawk. Mr. Throw yourself in a painting and you've got a deal. We're planning to set sail in about a week from now, and I'll meet you by the docks then. But for now, that's all. Thanks so much, fellas. So we immediately got to work to start preparations for a greenhouse, as we knew if we could have veggie cakes, we could go and tame up some overs. No why, but this Deinonychus is looking at me funny. The next morning I sat out to get a berry gatherer, but the local cows didn't like that. I just had a cow push me off a cliff. Finally, I started shooting it with some arrows, and this guy bullied me around the whole day, nearly killing me. But finally, after running away from him, he started running away from me. I gave the final shot needed, and the Bronto went down. Um. I then went to craft the saddle, grab all the berries needed, and stuffed up the Bronto until he tamed up. My new friend helped me gather all the seeds needed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy just walks over our fence. It's like it's nothing. <laughs> and since we didn't want to wait for the veggies to grow, we went out exploring. Oh, what is this? We stumbled upon an amazing castle and went over to investigate. Oh, no way. This is amazing. We found yet another rune and decided to spend the night before watching the sunrise the next morning together. I love this place. But the peaceful moment was quickly interrupted by some compies and we continued our search to find the Fjordorg location. And in a matter of no time, I found some. Oh, there's two. There's a green one here as well now. Oh, well, that is perfect, isn't it? Oh my gosh, this is a crap show if I've ever seen one. So we tried taming them. I'm taming nine total. But quickly realized we needed to stick to our overs plan since these guys were just complete pains in the butt. No, RG. No, you're kidding me. But of course, we had a little problem. You know what I'm just thinking about at the moment? How are we going to get the overs here? No flyers would definitely make it a challenge to get them back. I then grabbed some more runes on the way back to base, and finally I arrived. Our veggies were growing nicely, so I made a tree sap collector and went to collect some sap. I also tried out my farming cart. This is the most efficient. There we go. He's even self farming. And alternative to flying, this worked amazingly. And after farming metal all day, this also gave me a plan to turn the cart into a special overs cart. As I saw Sizen do something weird with a Fiomia, I knew the veggie cakes were about to be ready. So we sat off to grab some overs, tried to get them on the back of a cart, but had some technical difficulties. So we made them follow us all the way back to base, made our alternative cart, and luckily we were able to get the overs inside. But this cart needed a bigger tame. Alright, are you about ready? So we set out in search for either a racer or a Therizino, and luckily I found a somewhat okay level one, not too far from base. 
So I took to the high ground to find a safe location to start shooting it from, but my location wasn't as safe as I thought when I got a little bit too close to the tickle chicken. Finally, it was on the run, so I hopped on the back of Red Velvet and I gave chase. Shot the final arrow needed and the theory went down. I waited for it to tame up. And finally by the evening it was mine. So I lured it back to base, ready to hitch up the cart and take our overs to the Fjordorks. The next morning, we were on the way. Finally arriving at the Fjordork location, but Bob me forgot you could skin these guys. And the Fjordork simply weren't interested. Hey buddies. Look at this, look at this nice little sheepy here. So we went back to taming them the hard way. Working together, finally we got one close to taming. 80, 92, let's go! Oh, well, I found the docks. We were just in time to meet Alexander as he was in the process of purchasing his ship. So we made our way over, looking through this amazing village and saw the transaction took place, and gave Alexander the hawk. Thanks so much, fellas. We will sail in the evening. There has been a vicious pirate controlling these waters, and it won't be nice running into him for sure. Pirate? Uh, Sizen, we might need to look into that. Anyway, good luck on your adventure. Who knows? Maybe our paths will cross again someday. And if you're ever in Ragnarok, you can always visit. Bye, guys. After the hard 10 days, me and Sizen had some drinks having no idea that Alexander was about to be pulled up on by the Notorious Pirate. The king and his men stole the queen from her bed. And with that, our next guest feature. And bound her in her bones. The seas be out. Get to scrubbing those decks, you earthless landlubbers! Oh? What's this? Someone be thinking he can sail in me waters! Boys, hoist the colors! Well done, Jester. He be keeping to our arrangement just fine. Boys, tonight we dine on the dime of our friends sinking to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Oblivious to what had happened the night before, me and Sizen sat out back home. Oh, it's... Working through one of the biggest hangovers ever. Art is getting kind of bloody. Oh, Ooh. hell no, dude, what? We took it out on some alphas. I'm trying, he's just not. There we go. Are you alive? All right, I'm running. Hey, I'm running. A... I'm running. I go, run, there's a rake behind you. Run back. Uh, okay, keep running, keep running, keep running. You can have the experience, I don't care. Luckily, Sizen survived, then we made it safely back home. Ready to go in search for some more teams. He's a spino this close to base. Ooh, it's a 130. Oh, I'm getting him. Damn it! What happened? I left my crossbow at home. Ooh, 150 rakes. After spotting an amazing rakes, I got ready to tame it up. So I lured it into my trap, even though me and Sizen agreed to do it on the back of the Deinonychus. I, I didn't trap mine. I'm doing mine in the wild also. Yeah, I'm doing mine on the back of the Deinonychus. But see, my plan had a problem as Sizen Spino was slowly making his way over to me. Spino is mine. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's really uh, close to you. Is he running? Oh my gosh, he's down. He is uncomfortably close to my Spino. <laughs> Luckily, he was too distracted to notice. Here we go. I love how these two are cuddling. He's like literally lying on the Spino's tail. Is he? I gotta see it. By the next morning, the Rex tamed up and I named it Osmond, took it back to base and went in search for a female, when I stumbled upon an alpha lead stuck on the beach. So I killed it for some runes as well as a cool pirate hat and spotted some more server members. Got some friendly townsfolk here. So I went in to greet them and asked them if they had seen or heard anything about the notorious pirate, but luckily they were all safe and they knew nothing about this. We then stumbled upon an amazing castle, but didn't feel quite worthy yet. So we stick to villages for now. I have this veggies here, this is cool. And after grabbing some veggies, I made my way back to base. 
ready to go searching again the next morning. I then finally spotted some more Rexes, as well as some more runes and finally a high level female. I hope I'm gonna have enough arrows for this though. So after trapping her up I started tranging her in the face and she went down. I then fed her all the meat, no. tamed her up and named her Halga and then took her back to base but we had some unsettling news. How was your day? I'm so uh, pretty bad. Me and Sizen got ready to discuss his pretty bad day when we spotted the hawk from Alexander. Wait, is this a is this a wild hawk? I don't know. It looks like it's trying to tell us something. Wait, is that not the hawk we gave to Alexander? Are I we, think it is actually. We need to investigate. Something might have happened to him. So we followed the scared little hawk and he led us right back to the village docks. Is this guy seriously bringing us back to the docks again? But this time, uh. something else was docked at the village. Oh. And clearly the tales of a pirate were in actual fact true. Do you think something happened to Alexander when he went out to sea? We could only assume the worst, so we knew we had to get ready. Let's head back to base. Let's start working on our own pirate ship. Be free, little hawk. We then stumbled upon another base by a server member. Um, you might want to see this. Lone Berserker. At least now we knew if we needed a crew, where to find them. We then set out to farm up all the resources we would need for our own pirate ship. But my Anki got bitten off by some bears and even though I tried everything to save it, I was in trouble. I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble, I'm gonna need help here. No, I'm gonna die. No, the cow died. I managed to save the Anki but it came at a cost. Stupid bear. So I farmed up some keratin and marched the Anki all across the map to farm up some more metal, but I knew I needed other plan to get safely home. I think our best bet is honestly a parasaur and using one of the smaller carts and just building a little platform on it. And as luck would have it, can you go down in one shot? One was just nearby, so I tranked it out nice. and named it Fedex. I'm, I'm not doing bad on metal, my biggest worry is if, if I bump this Anki off once, I can't get it back on again. Most possibly, I had just jinxed myself. He's gonna knock off- Oh, he knocked off the Anki. And me and FedEx and the Anki were in trouble. And I tried everything to save FedEx. Uh, do you know where you are? But it was too late, so I waited for Sizen to come and help me. Well, I'm worried about this man, so I'm going to try to find him. But I quickly got tired of waiting. So there was two baby cows and- Are, are well, you taming cows and not coming to help me get back to base? No, no, absolutely not. Okay, I'm sorry for the mis misinterpretation of that situation. Okay. Come on, Cal, walk faster. <laughs> and clearly my impatience didn't come without a reason. And the next morning, me and Sizen went out to farm the final material that we might need. About uh, 400 per tree. It looks so weird. And finally, we were off, and we made it safely to the original docks where we started. Parked our cart, made our raft, and placed it down. And we got ready to make our very own pirate ship. Now, sit back and enjoy this speed building montage, because this took quite a few days to make. And with that, it was done. So I took a little nap because I was hella tired. Oh man, I'm tired. You did a, you did a good job. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm you really okay? Tired. I'm really tired. That was, that was, you're, you're getting awfully close to me there, Sizen. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> but us touching noses was quickly interrupted by some strange noise. You hear that? What was that? And as we went over to investigate, we spotted a strange little lady on the docks and she handed us a mysterious note. Hello there. Feeling super creeped out and seeing her disappear, we read the note. <laughs> what does it say? Head to 7764. If you want to know the weakness of Captain Pinkbeard. <sighs> that doesn't sound fun, man. 
So we raced it up and the next morning decided I needed Andrew Sarkis as we weren't able to make scuba since this journey was primitive. It's down there. Ooh. Of course, the green mohawk one just had to be mine as I hopped on the back. Oh, he took me right next to Aloe's. But he wasn't making this easy at all. Don't throw me off oh, now. Uh, he just threw me off right next to I'm, Aloe. I'm, 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 I'm going to help. I'm coming to help. I'm on. Luckily, Red Velvet was nearby to save me and I continued the taming. Now, please bear in mind that this time I didn't know yet that you should hop off right before the bar went fully red. So I did get a little bit bullied, but finally the Andrew Sarkis was mine. Nice. I named him Blueberry and got the saddle from Sizen, slaughtered some alphas, repaired our armor, and finally we set off to the coordinates. There's a ship. Do you see the ship? Right oh, I see. Oh, right in the middle. Wow. No way. Are these not normal levels? No, no, they're high. We also found some runes. Oh, 165. Oh gosh. Okay, I can't take those hits. There's too many of them. There's too many. Back up, okay. back up, back up. And some pretty high level bats. I'm really low on health. So we had to retreat to heal up, and finally we booked it past them, making our way through the cave. Oh, I'm doing fine on health for now. After we fought our way through, we discovered the artifact chamber and went over to grab our very first one. Artifact of the cunt. We then healed up some more and grabbed yet another rune. Is that it? Did we just heal for like 20 minutes? For nothing. It wasn't for nothing. What'd you find? But grabbing the loot crate had caused some spirits to be awoken, and the earth trembled under our feet as we tried to make it out of here. Yeah, what is happening? As we were trying to make our way out, the tremors luckily started to subside. Oh, get me out of there, jeez. It just stopped. And then Sizen saw something. Um... Yes. Hi, lady. Yes. What? L lady? What do you mean, what lady? I just definitely saw someone here. Are you going yeah, crazy against Sizen? I definitely am not going crazy. Oh, look at the ship. This is insane. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, what the hell? Hi, lady. Good evening, explorers. I am Helheim, goddess and protector of the seas. You see, there's this pirate taking slaves and terrorizing the waters, apparently having his jester sell ships, and then he sinks the buyers with their ship into the ocean. We have actually lost a dear friend of ours. Who is this pirate you speak of? We believe he goes by the name of Captain Pinkbeard. <gasps> Miss? I heard you! Find his ship to be positioned above the spell-binding crystals. For now, I will come with you myself. Uh, do you by chance know him? I need to see if it is truly Captain Pinkbeard. The only pirate that was ever able to steal from me. It was my heart. Oh, that wasn't weird at all. I think we just got a sea goddess on our side. And with that, we knew we were ready. So we made our way back, ready to start assembling our crew. As we went all over the server, asking anyone that could wield a sword to join us on this noble fight to take down the pirates. We were looking mighty fine and we were feeling unstoppable. Fine, our pirate ship looked a little bit like a fairy, but hey, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog, and we had plenty of courage, with our hearts full of vengeance to take down the pirate that had sunk our friend's boat to the bottom of the ocean. We knew things were on, and finally we spotted the ship of Captain Pinkbeard. And things were about to get intense. And I hope you're ready for Chromata's main debut. Ahoy there! Who dare sail in the way of Captain Pinkbeard? Captain Pinkbeard, we are here to put an end to your wrath. Who are ye now? I must have salt water in me ears again because I am sure I'm not hearing you right. Release those slaves. Nobody needs to get hurt. Ye be sure ye want to be starting a war with me, boy? 
We have a weapon up our sleeves, and I promise you won't survive. Ho oh, ho, oh, shiver me timbers, fellas. We must lay down our weapons and surrender right away. <laughs> Are you sure you want it this way? Listen, ye scurvy dog, ye better be turned in your little boat around from whence ye came. Ye barely have your sea legs, and ye dare challenge me. I should send you right down to Davy Jones' locker. Ark. Well, we tried. Bring her out. Helheim. It can't be. Pinkbeard, you have lost your ways, and for that, you will have to pay. She's doing her bit, let's get ready to fight. You heard him, boys. Hoist the colors. Kill that scallywag now. I've had enough of this. Now we need it to sail away. Fire those cannons. We needed to get Captain Pinkbeard above the location Helheim requested. But this was definitely not an easy task. This ship was much faster than ours, came with a lot stronger weaponry, and they were gaining on us quickly. Finally in my sights I spotted the spellbounding crystals, and the pirate ship was right around the corner. We positioned right above it, and as he circled around, we got ready to draw swords. Cleave him to the brisket! Slay these lily livers! Son of a biscuit eater! I'm... I'm sorry. Helheim, I'm coming home. Forgive me. Uh, uh. For by the power of the sea, I bound your bones. Once together, now apart, we'll keep you cursed for eternity. After that chaos, we got ready to go home. Not gonna lie, man, that fight was pretty intense. Yeah, it was. But I feel good, I feel I feel noble that we managed to rescue all the slaves. The realms were safer, but we needed to have a serious talk. Okay. Damn it. I had no idea that we were about to break each other's hearts. Okay, okay. What do you want to talk about? We're gonna be quite heroic in the realms at the moment after that victorious fight. Um we can't be living like trailer park trash anymore, so. What do you think about us taking hold of some castles? I don't want to live in that castle that you wanted. So, do you remember that castle that we found? I mean, it was a wall. It wasn't a castle. It was just a wall. Alright, well, I want to live there. You want to just set up in both of them? Uh, you mean like live separately? We'll still be able to hang out and stuff. I'm fine with it. Promises isn't goodbye forever. Okay. It better not be. I'll come back for the Fiomia one day. It'll be a reason to revisit. As we each sat off in our own direction, it broke my heart seeing my friend going off to the other side. But it needed to be done. We needed to become kings. So I grabbed my final belongings, and finally, everything was there. Now it was just time to get this castle to be somewhat functioning and looking like something. As I started to build the main structure, Farming up all the material that I needed, clearing up all the mountains, and finally the structure was coming together nicely. I installed my roof, and now it was definitely starting to feel like a castle. Now let me give you guys a quick little tour. Inside my castle is a fully functioning kitchen, a bed fitting for a king, and yes there were jacuzzis back in the viking days as well as a dining hall fitting for a party. So I went to rest up, but Sizen showed up with a strange visitor. Um, Kruger, are you here? I have someone with me that would like to meet you. And let me introduce our next guest. What if he doesn't like me? What if he doesn't need a gimp? What if he knows Master Mac? Maybe this master would actually like parties. Um, alright, I'm on my way. Who is it? Lord Kruger! Lord Kruger! Uh, well, he calls himself the Gimp. <laughs> a Gimp, huh? I am the Gimp. What the hell's a Gimp? 
former gimp of Master Mac. But I have come to learn of this noble king that has taken control of the lands. Oh, your lordship, you are even more majestic in person. I have come here to be your gimp. Every rightful leader needs one. I promise to not get in your way. Simply put me in the back of the castle and I will take care of this place. And you. Okay, Gimp, um, you can probably give it a shot. Uh, follow me. Yes, Master Kruger. I am here to serve. How's this place? Will it, will it do? It's glorious, Master Kruger. Absolutely glorious. Oh, one more thing, Master Kruger. Here. Take this. Um, what the hell do I do with this? Let me just close the door. Yes, master. Oh, okay. boy, I do not like this. <laughs> I'm out of here. That is way too weird for me. I've missed this. The Gimp is home now. Okay, Gimp, we're off on some adventures. So um, you make this place homey for you and we'll see you in a few days, okay? Right away, sir. Whatever it is you need, master. I need to ensure I satisfy this master to the fullest. I don't want to be exiled again. I better get to work right away, thinks Siggy. Me and Sizen went out to go cave exploring. I found Feeling it. a little bit nervous. It's under your index finger on the map, right? As this would be our first artifact cave. What if our times don't fit through? But you gotta risk it Yeet. for the biscuit as we made our way in. This is a terrible idea. Luckily, we were able to fit through. Oh, hi, friends. Are we not going to talk about all the dead people here? Clearly, Sizen was no longer being cautious. No. As we made our way down the pit, into the water, not knowing what to expect. Hey, more dead people. Ignoring all the warnings, we dropped down into the bottom of a water pit, collected some loot crates, and finally made our way up to the artifact. Grabbed it, and once we had it, we started looking for an exit. By the next morning, we were fighting our way through and came to a block. Oh, man. But luckily, it was breakable and we saw daylight yet again. We then made our way back to Sizen's base to do a quick heal up. And once that was done, we went over to the next cave. Did some lava parkour. Holy crap. Oh, I'm on a slither. And after fighting what seemed like a thousand bats, we healed up, grabbed the first artifact as well as a rune and went searching for the second. Quickly grabbed it, grabbed yet another rune, and we were slowly getting ready for the brood mother. Oh, and I'm out. We then went back to my base to have a nice little breakfast together. You want to come join me for breakfast? Ah, oh, this is good. This is relaxing. Where the hell's my gimp? Oh, gimp. Yes, Master Kruger. Would you like some food? I freshly prepared this. Master, are you satisfied with my work? Uh, shouldn't drop food on the floor, gimp. Bad game. Back in the cave. I do not approve of this message. What do you mean? Come, he made us breakfast. Where are you going? Since we now had just one artifact left, I repaired all my armor, made a shotgun and some gunpowder, grabbed a nearby rune to boost the experience, and once I had everything made, I made my way over to Sizen's castle, as I made him a shotgun as a gift. Mr. Sizen, are you home? Yes, I am home. I come bearing gifts. What have you been doing? I had a quick look at his castle and wasn't very impressed. Oh, we've got a very far, very far away to go. Alright, so we do need to cross the waters for this. Alright, cannonball! We're going into the water? Yep. And as we were diving into trouble, the gimp was pretty much doing the same. Since I wasn't at the castle, he thought he was boss, so he made his way into the village to invite the entire town to his little party. Hell, I am the Gimp. I really like this place, but let's say we take this party to the next level. We are having a big party at the castle of my master. It will be a glorious party. It's an honor to introduce the legend known as Apshro. Gimp, I love the way you're thinking. Let's round up some of these townspeople. Let's take this party back to your master's castle. <laughs> I'll spread the word. As they were recruiting the entire town, I was definitely feeling left out. Bring all your friends. It will be glorious, says it. I mean, I definitely would have loved to party with Apshro myself, but we had more important things to focus on. 
as we were about to enter one of the hardest caves on Fjorda, the Labyrinth Cave. We slowly started grappling up to the roof and got ready to take down some of the insects guarding the entrance to this cave. As we made our way over to the boogie traps, is the squeezer or one tap? Uh, okay, not a one tap. Searched around for the mysterious password. Okay, there's a purple three here. To open up the door. Hey, hey. Do some more parkour. Hey, got the door. And yet another door that would unlock the doorway to another rune as well as the artifact we were looking for. Now we just had to escape with our lives. There's a bat up there. There's two bats. Oh, he's gonna give me rabies, man. But killing the bat alerted the others. Run to the They're right. All okay, They're all coming. They're all coming. Look at here to the right. Luckily, Got Sizen him. was a good nice. shot. Just a few more threats to deal with, and we would be home free. Oh, there's oh. one right behind you. Oh. I got the mega rabies and had to grapple to the ceiling. Oh, that that was that was a hard hitter. I took care of the megalania below me. I might, I might not make it, my friend. But I was about to be a goner. This might be the end of me. Luckily, with oh, hopes I'm and so prayers, I managed to survive it. Oh, you made it! And me and Sizen leap down, finally getting out of the cave. Body back at my ready place. to head home. Sure. But back home, other surprises were waiting on us as the massive party was getting out of hand. This party's insane, Gimp! But uh, this might get a little out of hand. <laughs> hey, why the f is there a clown here? And as I was getting close, I started to hear all the commotion. Oh boy, what the hell is going on down there? Not just that, I saw some fireworks break through my roof and the gimp was definitely gonna have some explaining to do as I made my way back down and arrived by the next morning. Oh no, it happened again. Master Kruger is going to murder me. But the gimp had managed to escape. I'm so sorry, Master. Before I could give him his much needed whipping. What the hell? But someone else was left behind. My entire roof's gone. And I nearly just stepped on a naked man. Oh man, that was a wild one. Oh, you're King Kruger, right? Uh, your gimp invited the whole town to party in his dungeon. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty awful, nasty, dirty, dirty stuff went down in here. <laughs> Dookie, say hi to the nice green haired man. Um, who the hell are you and where's my gimp? I'm Apostolus Cornelius, or Absro for short. Uh, he felt a bit scared and ashamed this morning, so uh, I got the feeling he's left. Well, that sucks. I actually started to grow quite fond of the gimp. Oh, no worries. There's a slave village not too far. Uh, you can just go pick up a new gimp real easy. It's like heading down to Walmart and going down the slave aisle. You know, they even have some nice painting cowboy fella. Wait, Alexander? He's actually alive? Ah, uh, no. The gimp is gone? Also, I met Alexander. Yes! He seems nice. Hiya, Krugie. Did he seriously just crap on my floor? Uh, I'm not sure what his name is, but yeah, whatever. Oh, who's a cute dookie? Yeah, you had fun in the nice man's castle? <laughs> you ready to go home? <laughs> cute little bastard. Hey, hey, Aspro, would you like a balloon? Yeah, I want a balloon. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Ugh, hate clowns. They scare the crap out of me. Right, even the jester was here. Um, By the way, weren't you part of Captain Pinkbeard's side? Yes. Yes, we were. No, no, we weren't. We hate the pirates. So this slave village, where the hell can I find it? Uh, swamp to the west. You got to go there by boat. But, uh, you know, be careful. The barbarians are not just open to anyone visiting. Wait, barbarians? <laughs> they sound kind of nice. <laughs> oh, they're a group of savage scavengers. They're yeah, pretty much land pirates in these realms. Anyway, your lordship, I gotta go. So, um, you know, sorry about all this shit. It was fun time. Fun time. Come on. Come on, Dookie. Let's get out of here. So I said goodbye to Absher and the crazy jester, and if you want to see more of him, go check out his channel or my aberration video. I'm so sorry, Master. Unfortunately, the gimp... I have to leave now. ...felt too ashamed, and he was about to abandon me for good. Oh, I probably need to get to work and fix up all of this crap. So I started to repair my ceiling, cleaned the crap off the floor that the clown had left, and made my way over to Sizen to tell him the good news that Alexander might just be alive. So let me clue you in on what exactly happened. 
Damn, that was a rough one. Where's Beatrice? Actually, where am I? After he had washed up on the beach. Well, well, well. What have we here, boys? Oh, jeez. He was taken captive. Ready another cage. <laughs> by a savage barbarian group. And we now had a new threat that we needed to take care of. So the next morning, I made my way over to Sison's castle. We got ready and made our way over. Well, my bearer. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Do you seriously swim the slope? Yes. I don't appreciate what you're doing. And after swimming nearly the entire day, we had finally made it across the lands and we grappled to the side of the mountain. I just almost died and I really don't want to talk about it. What the hell is this? We started searching around for Alexander. Oh no, I do see someone on the on the top level, all the way on the right. It doesn't look like Alexander, though. I see him, I see him. We're here, buddy. We're gonna get you out. Oh, you guys are here. Oh man, I'm happy to see you alive. I don't know if anyone's in here. Mm. I hear snoring, do you hear that? I do, yeah. And Sleep. after spotting him, we snuck into the warden's office to search for the passcode. Oh, yeah. Look behind you. Look behind you. We now knew to just what we needed to unlock the prison doors. So we went in to try and get to Alexander's oh, cell. Come, come. Typed in the passcode and opened up all the doors. But that also triggered the oh, alarms. That was really loud. Intruders! We have intruders! Sound the alarms! Whoa. Open it! Open it! <laughs> stop! You stop me. <laughs> Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Get them now! Uh, oh, 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 oh. I have one here in front of me, oh. boys. Get the hell out of here. Unfortunately, our efforts had failed to rescue Alexander. Well done, gang. They really thought they could steal from us? <laughs> what fools. Yeah, some rescue. But hey, at the very least, thanks for trying. We don't want any trouble. Yeah, we really just want our friend back. I'll make you a deal. Bring me the trophy of the broodmother and I'll release him to you. You've got 10 days. If you're not back by then, consider your friend here, well, either executed or sold into slavery. Alrighty then. We'll see you in Let's a few days. Get out of here. Armed with a new task, we grabbed a few runes and made our way back to base. Now, we were gonna need pretty good blueprints, so we decided to go loot cave hunting the next morning. I am at the cave. Hopefully there's loot inside here. Uh, tell me it's something good at least. Ugh. Not worth it, not worth it, I repeat, not we worth it. We definitely risked our lives for some horrible loot, and now I was praying for my grapple just to attach. Might die for me. I'm breaking bones. <sighs> this was probably the closest encounter okay. to death ever. I am on 1 HP, 1.9. Luckily, I was able to drink water. some water, and then that evening I spotted something uh, tempting. You go in front of me. It's a 145. This was an amazing find, and I knew I needed to tame her, so I made myself a trap. I, I've placed some of the bait traps. Okay. We lured the Giga inside and trapped her behind and started tranking her out. <laughs> also, each other. Ooh. Oh, 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 finally. So I tamed her up, named go. her Hilda, and took her back to base. Did some rex breeding as well as some metal farming, and by the next morning slaughtered all those that weren't worthy, made a blacksmith, Let's unlock ourselves the forge. and finally started smelting some metal in some real style, as this was the same as an indie forge. Once that was done, I went out to collect some fiber as well as some hide so from Sizen. I oh, know. Made a very expensive Giga saddle, but it was all worth it when I gave her first roar. Now we just needed to get the final Rexes ready I, I'm dead. with some proper stats so we could go and take down the bee. So I also leveled up the Giga and finally we were about as ready as we were gonna be. Since we would be able to take a Giga in as well. Right, well I reckon I have enough Rexes for the bee at least. I now just needed something to heal up the Gigas. So I went out to tame an owl and probably shot two of the best shots I've ever done on art. That was a god shot. I grabbed some veggies while I waited for the owl to tame up, named it Hedwig and took it back to base. Now we just needed to level up the Rexes, but I got distracted. Yeah, I'm basically on top of this high mountain near you. As I spotted a green colored griffin. There's a fully green 145. Sorry, sorry. This is happening. I knew I had to have it, so I dropped down some traps, shot another amazing shot. 
No, got him, got him, got him. Lured the griffin into the trap and started tranking it out. I got a little bit too close when I was checking its door. He nearly ended my life. He just broke all my armor. But luckily I gave the final shot and it went down. Gave size and my armor to repair as I waited by the griffin. And once yeah, I was all suited up, the griffin was tamed and we healed the Rexes. Ready to venture in to take down Baylor. Now this wasn't only for the relics as we needed those much needed Rex saddle blueprints. Why are my Megatheriums not attacking? There we go, there we go. I'm just gonna sit back and relax. Pull out a chip. This fight ended up being so easy, we decided to run it twice. Okay. We can immediately go again. No, we can't. But unfortunately, we couldn't. Let's leave them here, go tame the Uteranus quickly. So we went to kill some time by taming up a much needed Yudi. It's a 140, <laughs> what are the odds? Are you kidding me? On Yudi, come in, come in. Got it. Nice. And we decided to play a game yet again. Same rule? What do you mean same rule? Whoever gets the last shot. Now Sizen definitely didn't like this game because luck was always on my side. There we go. There we go, there we go, nice. Yours. No. It is not. <laughs> but at this point, time was really running out. So I went back to Sizen's base to drop down some eggs, hatch some Rexes in the hope that they would raise up before the fight. No, there. Got back just in time to grab there the UD, go. dropped it off and went to do some imprints on the Rexes, and then we went in to take the B down yet another time. Oh, hold on, Amazon is calling me. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Amazon has to wait, we need to fight a B. Clearly this fight was not intimidating at all, as Sizen literally spoke to Amazon the entire time as I was killing it. But unfortunately, no Rex saddles. We would have to do with the ones that we had, meaning they would be primitive. Oh, they're adolescent. Okay, 95. The Rexes were finally ready and healed up. We grabbed everything that we needed and marched our army. We're either gonna be just fine or we're gonna get completely obliterated. Hopefully, we didn't underestimate this Hold fight. Hold on to your butts, people. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Wait, they're already coming. Oh my gosh, right. I'm stuck in your- I've got all mine going. Like oh, she's doing a lot of damage. Nothing. Come on, come on. All right, one Megatherium dead. Another Megatherium dead. Oh, dang. Another one. Second Rex dead. Oh, my Rex is all falling. My Rex is also about to go. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try to go to that back cliff. If you can, follow me. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's coming. Oh, she's kind of freaking out well, right now. I just killed the Rex. I mean, we're doing good damage. Really good damage. Ooh. Oh my gosh, come on. It's going to be a numbers game, a time game. You have med bruise just in case, right? Yeah, 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 I'm good. Okay. If she can just... Oh, 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 oh! oh. No, Damn! Dead. With that, we lost. Oh no, my Fjord Hawk! We didn't have much of a choice, but clearly we underestimated this oversized spider and we had let our friend yeah. down. But then after a few drinks at the bar, we came up with a plan, summoned up some courage. That movie. So we made our way back to base, made all the gear that we would need. I raised up some more Rexes and dropped off the nanny to look after them. Let's do we this. We were about to stage a prison break and get our friend out one way or the other. I have to wait for this grenade to explode. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm on fire. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Watch out the grenades. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, I just hit you in the back of the head with a smoke grenade. I apologize. It's open, it's open. Alexander, it's follow, open. Us, follow us, follow us. Finally, we got him out. Now we just needed to escape. So we dove down to our ship. Yeehaw, boys! We made it safely away from the barbarians and sailed off into the sunset and decided to give Alexander our boat. Thanks again, fellas. But I don't think Beatrice made it. I promised her that we could live on Ragnarok. I feel like I need to honor that promise. Guess it's goodbye then. Thanks for the boat. Come on, Jeffrey. Time for us to go there. I'm gonna miss him, you know. Since we were already at the swamp, we decided the next morning to grab the artifact that oh. was here. Oh, there's this. Mo there's a lot of these motors in here. 
They're actually really weak. Hmm. After fighting through some bats. Well, good thing we didn't come in here on foot. <laughs> that would have been one of the shortest trips ever. Uh, is yeah. <laughs> another rune stone down here? The XP that we're gonna get done. These saddles were pretty amazing. That they protected us against the gas was awesome, but we forgot that we do need to grapple at some stage. Alright, got mine. Do you lose health fast? Kind of, I'm like half. Luckily, I survived the endeavor. Ooh, I'm low now. So we made our way out of the cave and went back home to drop off the artifact. We definitely needed better cave oh, wow, runners, really and cool. since we had some elements. Oh, I see a fair We decided to tame ourselves up some fluffy new friends. Wow, those hit hard. Yeah, but we had to fight through some bears. I'm gonna try to help. 250, it's fine. He's about to go. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. This is a green one. It's a green 150. Okay, I found mine. Okay, I'm starting. Me too. So we started taming them up. Grappling up to the ceilings and watching them rage out. Just hoping they wouldn't hit each other. But I also forgot to take my Andrew Sarkis off passive. Did he lose effectiveness? Oh, that was perfect timing. Luckily, we saved them, gave them the final Ellie needed, and once it raged down, it was mine. Does this mean you're officially mine? Now we definitely had some better cave runners. The next day, I hatched up some more Rexes and we went in search for Ellie. Well, hello there. Hello, hello. We had to take the bee down yet another time just to stock up to keep these addicted little fluffy friends all jacked up to take down the caves that lie ahead. After some imprints, we went to our first water cave. All right, we want to bolt until the end and watch out this jellyfish. Abusing the Andrew Sarkis saddle yet again because you don't lose oxygen within it. Dude, there is so much stuff in Nor there. can you get stunned off. Uh, looks Ooh, like I go down. Fish, oh, I, fish, I think I see fish. the artifact. These saddles were truly amazing. Nice. I think we just have this one here. Finally, we were able to grab the artifact and book it out of this cave. But Sizen decided to swim ahead. No, I just got shocked again. I'm just gonna die. 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 I'm, I'm behind gonna die. you. I'm behind I you. I died. No. Oh. Dude, it's like five eels and six sharks. How did so many respawn? Come on, come on, book it. It's like level three, four hundred piranhas. That. That was indeed. Luckily, I safety made it out, and now it was time to relieve some stress and also get some better loot. As I made myself a canoe, I decided to start to do some fishing. Now, I was under the impression the loot was pretty bad, but after getting some blueprints, boy, did my impression of all of this change. Mastercraft flak chase piece. Not a single fish in this lake would be safe from me. I then hatched some more rexes and imprinted on them. And shortly after, went back to fishing because I actually started to enjoy it. And after nearly clearing out the entire pond, I noticed I could row underneath and unlock the other side. And I must say, for once, I was actually enjoying fishing. I actually managed to catch a full set of flax, so made one for me and Sizen, moved all my rexes to the bottom area to speed up breeding a bit, and once we were ready, I'm jacking up my little fella. We got our Feroxes hitched on element and went into yet another cave, the Swamp Cave, as this was home of the apparent best loot on Fjorda. Please don't tell me this is a gas cave. I hope not. I still don't like that I'm not getting XP though. Yeah, that's weird. Like, they're pretty bloody to me. My Ferox was glitched. The second I hopped off, it was nearly dead. Luckily, we noticed it and healed up just yep. in time. Whoa. <laughs> Finally, we made our way over to the artifact chamber and grabbed it. Artifact of the strong. And we kept farming the cave as these loot crates kept respawning and finally found it. No way. No way. No freaking way. Yes, sir. After this amazing find, the last thing needed was new megatheriums. So I trapped up a high level. You did not just steal... Pego just stole my element. No. Yes. Had some technical difficulties. I need you to stay But inside. finally had the Megatherium inside, my Ellie back, and I shot and tranked it out. I then spotted what? this amazing no high-level good colored Thilo, and I knew I wanted to have it, as this was yet another good cave runner. 
The next morning I panicked and grabbed some more berries but luckily the thylo as well as the megatherium both tamed up and I took them back to base. As I was making saddles, Sizen got hold of a giga and started taming it. He then brought it over and we were finally able to breed some gigas, make some more saddles, saddle up the rexes as well as start working on the giga saddles. So we farmed up all day, had all the metal that we needed and finally was able to make the saddles because next up was Jotunheim. So we went to tame ourselves some otters to help us with fortitude, make some of the fur armor we could afford, claim our gigas and went in search for yet another Eudoranus. I finally trapped one up, knocked it out and started taming it. We were a bit pressed for time so I left it there and we made our way over to Jotunheim in the pursuit to take down Steinborn. Hopefully our gigas would be strong enough to take on this beast. You ready? Oh, this is really good damage. Just leveling real quick. Gigas are the way. Luckily, this fight was about as easy as Bela, so I grabbed the Yuri, grabbed the final artifacts, and we were ready for a more challenging fight, the Megapithecus. As ready as I'll ever be. Now we knew what was at stake here. This was a fight we couldn't lose again. Alright, everyone attack my target. The Broodmother already set us back so much. We knew we had to win this. That Rocky does the so I know, much damage. I know. Come on, get the damage in. Let's go. It's just that rock that worries me, man. That does so much damage. We needed the confident boost. For some reason, we were constantly second-guessing ourselves after losing. Zero casualties. Come on, zero casualties. Come on, baby. Let's get there. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we needed that, man. But boy, did that make us feel good. Finally, with a victory in hand, we went out to grab Sizen, a Thylo of his own. Hello. Thank you for pretty much just taming this thing for me. I then went in search of a male Therizino so I could start breeding for the dragon fight that would also lie ahead. <laughs> My grab is just... Uh, there's a 150... Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. After dealing with the annoying Microraptor, I trapped up the Theria and knocked it out and spotted a Megatherium nearby as well. So I made sure the Theria would be all drugged up and then started to trap up the Megatherium. Once I let it in, I blocked it up, shot it in the face and it went down. Since I had some time to kill, Do not live tell this time. I went to tame myself up a higher level Otter. I then made my way back and the Megatherium tamed up and I waited for the theory, but some terror birds had other plans for me. After slightly spoiling effectiveness, I finally had a breeding pair. Megatheriums were breeding, theories were breeding, things were going pretty well, we were definitely feeling ready. After spotting amazing color Rex, I knew I needed to add this to my lineup as well. So I tranked it out, waited for it to tame up and took it back to base. I had my first theory mutation with green colors and amazing stats cause you know what happens to those that don't. You got some sharks behind Then went to grab the first artifact for the dragon oh, a rune. but I mistook this oh, cave yeah. for the magmasaur trench. Here by me. Ooh, I fell down. You just went for it. Not, not intentional. And now that we were here, oh, there's a lot of bats here, we decided to clear out the cave, everything inside, Lightning wyvern's done. grab some nearby runes to gain a ton of XP and slaughter up some magmasaurs, as well as hopefully find a decent level egg. I'm, I'm here, I'm here. I'd rather raise a low level than not have one at all. But unfortunately, all we found was a level 20, but that would have to do. Finally, we found the real artifact cave, grabbed the rune, took care of some desmotors, grabbed the artifact and made our way out, but then we heard a strange noise. Excuse me, gentlemen. Wait, did you also hear that? I did, yeah. Um, hello? Oh, hi there, fella. Sorry, didn't see you down there. That's okay. I have but a humble request for two noble kings such as yourselves. Uh, sure. The name is Morbius Newman. See, I'm an aspiring doctor. Oh wow, a doctor. Where are you studying, by the way? I'm over on FU. Me? No, f you, dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. FU, Fjorder University. See, I have a very rare disease. I don't have a lot of time left to live, but I've been studying up on a very unique species on the island. 
Not sure I like where this is going again. I really need you guys to please help me get hold of about five to six vampire bats. I believe that my research will not only cure me, but allow me to gain immortality too. <laughs> immortality. Okay, yeah, sure, bud. Um, no worries, I don't believe in all that, but we will definitely honor a dying man's wish. Thank you, your lordships. I don't have much time. So we went back to base, dropped off the artifact, and by the next morning we started working on a devious plan. As I grinded out a bunch of structures, we made our way over to our old village. Made an interesting little trap that was designed by Fender, so credit to him. And once everything was ready, we hosted the server's blood drive and hoped to save some children. Fine. We weren't saving children, but I mean, we were saving a sick person, so I didn't feel too bad for all these noble sacrifices. Alright everyone, thank you very much for your donations, you've saved a lot of children today. We then grabbed all the blood packs, got rid of the um, evidence, and went to lure out all the bats. This way we could tame them up one by one. So we kited one at a I'm time into the cave and Sizen started taming them up. Tamed them up, oh, okay. After he tamed up nearly all of them, I finally did my part as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to go home first. And now we had everything that we needed to save the poor doctor. Oh, Mr. Newman, here are your bats as promised. Thank you, gentlemen. I will never forget you. You are most welcome, sir. Also, for your troubles, have this. Oh my gosh, thank you very much. I have to be off now. I wish you both good luck on your journeys ahead. Who knows, maybe one day our paths will cross again. It's Morbin time. Meanwhile, since we were here, I decided I wanted to look for yet another magma egg. So I made my way back into the cave, felt like total deja vu, but finally we made it through, slaughtered up all the magma sores, and finally had a somewhat better level. We wanted to escape the heat a little, so went over to one of the snow caves for yet another artifact. I'm assuming we can't fit through that. I'm assuming there's a lot of stuff. But here. forgot about Perlovias. Oh! Yeah, like a Perlovia? That's bad. I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need help. The problem is these guys dismount you, stun you, and you can be in some serious trouble with the high levels inside here. Luckily I was able to save Sizen, took care of the Perlovia, and went searching for some runes as well as some loot crates. And boy, was there some amazing loot in this cave. I then did a little bit of a boo-boo as I dropped into the pit of death to get Perloviaed, and I was in serious trouble. I tried to grapple out, but I nothing was that. working, and I saw how quickly my armor was breaking. But I wasn't under attack anymore. Sizen had dove in. Don't die, Thyla. Don't die, Thyla. Don't die, Thyla. And tried Come to on. save my life. Are you able to get out? I'm so weak right now. My Thylo died, but I remembered I still had my Ferox, and I tried to save Sizen. I'm dead. But I was too late. My Thyla died. At least I tried to save his Ferox, but unfortunately I couldn't do that either. So I waited for him to return back, guarding his body and possessions, grabbing some more loot along the way, and by the next morning we made it further into the cave. But isn't this where the artifact is supposed to be? We did it stumble is. upon a strange structure and let me introduce Margot the Huntress. Um, hello? Ooh, there's Trespass and Huntsman territory. We're just here for the artifact. Did that witch send you? You think I will fall for your foolish tricks? Ooh, Helheim? No, 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 she found me. I mean, we know Helheim, but we have zero clue what the hell you're talking about. My siblings were foolish enough to steal from her years back. They were cursed and bound in some wolf-like form. Um, Hatsi and Skull? Oh, you've heard the tales. Well, if you can take them down and free them, I will allow you access to the artifact. We'll see what we can do. Here we go again. Since we needed that artifact, we had no choice, so we made our way back to base, repaired up all of our gear, 
and then made our way over to Asgard to fight the two notorious wolves. Okay. We didn't know what to expect, but hey, we had two pretty OP gigas and we started to engage. They had a little bit of a mate boost, we believed, so I tried to separate mine from Sizen's and fought it to the bottom of the cliff, but noticed it had the ability to spawn in Fenros. Don't go too far, stop, 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 stop. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Got him. Luckily, Sizen took care of score before it exited the arena and helped me to care of Hati. And for some reason, this man was very scared of teleporting with I me. I need to get away from you. Well, to be fair, he did lose some tames back in Jotunheim the last time this happened. After we teleported back, we made our way safely back to base. The next morning, I decided to grind up a ton of paste and then went out back to the cave yet again. We traversed past everything, but before the pit of death, threw out our gigas to take care of all of the threats. So I grabbed some more loot crates and even found one behind some rocks that revealed a saddle that I could give to Sven. But this was the best find oh, yet. Come look at A this. Megatherium saddle blueprint. Now that was definitely going to be in handy. We then made our way over to some sacrificial pit dropped in the relics and see the entire room get covered in smoke and once it cleared Hati and Skull had reappeared in their human form and the curse was lifted Hati, Skull, you guys are back we had reunited a family thank you Kruger, thank you Sizen I will be forever in your debt right we're out of here oh gosh, I've missed you guys dear nerds Okay. We were so Sorry. happy for them that we actually forgot to grab the I, artifact. Um, don't mind Damn us. it. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind us. We kind of just forgot about this. Finally grabbed it and Sizen made friends with the door yet again. Oh my <laughs> gosh, this door. <laughs> and we safely ventured back to base. The next day we felt now it's time for us to truly look like kings. Make myself look pretty. By this time, we had earned it, and for taking down this dragon, we wanted to look in style. Look at you, Mr. King! Alright, you tried a little bit harder than I did. Thank you. We then went out to farm up some metal, and then realized something. We had gotten the final artifact, which meant we actually unlocked flyers. I then imprinted on some theories and gathered up all the material I would need for their saddles. I ran out of material quickly so made it back to the mountains and by that evening made my way back to fill up the forge. As I was breeding the next day, Sizen showed up with a gift. He was definitely enjoying the fact that we could finally use some flyers and since I had a pretty good saddle, I parked up my desmotors and I went to search for some paste and continued breeding the entire day. The next morning I decided to go and farm some chitin since paste farming would definitely not cut it. I needed a ton of paste for these megatherium saddles. So I made my way into the volcano to kill everything in sight in the hope to also get a good magma sore egg. But foolish me wasn't paying attention to my health, nor this little annoying bat that was flying above me and I was overheating. So I took off my armor in the hope to keep me cool. Oh, just died but that same head. bat killed not only me but my ferox as well. So I made my way back using the dismotors grabbed up all of my loot and on my way back home managed to find some more runes and I definitely sat the goal to try and hit 100 before this playthrough is over. By the next morning the pace grinding continued as well as raising my magma saw and some more theories. I kept looting every beaver dam I could find and finally was making some decent saddles. Progress was going well. I grabbed some more fiber, made even more saddles and finally had enough for the army. Now we just needed the final tributes. Get in the ball. And I must say it really did feel good finally flying around. But for now it was time for me to dive down as I needed to find Tussos. Ooh, I, so. I finally hunted them down and since Sizen was taking care of all the land tributes, no, this see. was the last thing that we needed. Here we go. And now we were ready for the dragon. There's something on me, dude. I'm gonna need your help. What do you mean? Where are you? There's a, there's a wyvern on me. It just blasted me. Like a wild one? I don't know. 
Where are you? Now I thought this man was overreacting, but then I saw it. He got picked and he needed to cryo up his des motors as I managed to save him out of the mid air. He then got picked yet another time and I knew we were in trouble. I went in to grab my friend and luckily saw the wyvern had backed off, so we went in for a little chit chat. Hey buddy. Be careful, I don't know about this dude, man. Wait, you actually thought getting the artifact of the Sky Lord alone grants you access to my skies? Wait, your skies? What the hell do you mean your skies? That's right. I am the Wyvern King, and these are my skies. Would you like to take up my Wyvern? Karen? No, that's okay. No need to fight. We know the drill by now. What do we need to give you or tame you, find you, whatever? I don't want anything, but see you are truly worthy to possess the right of the Sky Lord. So it's simple. You each need to grab five eggs of the strongest flyers in the realms. Wait, five? That's right. Lightning, fire, poison, and ice wyverns, as well as rock drakes. Wait, there's rock drakes here? What the hell? Once you have all the eggs and defeat the strongest flyer on here, the skies are yours. What do you mean, the strongest flyer? Have you not heard about the fire-breathing dragon that protects the gates of the Dark Lord? The Dark Lord? Well, that part is just a myth, but the dragon is very much real. Well, are we allowed to use flyers though to obtain the eggs? Yes, you have 10 days. If you don't complete the challenge by then, consider your wings clipped. Who the hell does he think he is? Now, even though we were about ready to take on the dragon, we didn't want to take this threat lightly. So we went out to start grabbing all the wyvern eggs we could possibly find, because we also needed to grab some milk for the dragon fight. The next morning we went back to Jotunheim, and since this would probably be the last time, we grabbed a ton of runes before heading to the trench. I see a nest. I threw out Hilda just to be safe, but luckily there was a nest right outside the trench. So I quickly hopped off Hilda, grabbed the egg, cryoed her up and we made our way back to the obelisk, only to venture to Vanaheim next. And by now, you know the draw. Grab all the runes we could possibly find, make our way into the trench, throw out a gigantic giga, slaughter some wyverns and grab some runes as well as the egg, and finally make our way back to the teleporter. High five. Hello five. We then decided to drop off some eggs and the next morning made our way over to Asgard, the final realm that we would need eggs from. So Sizen kited over all the lightning wyverns. Oh, don't push me all. Oh, that hurts. And I probably should have brought my imprinted Giga for this because these boys were tanky. After seeing the trench had no eggs, we decided to kill some time elsewhere. So we went to grab some runes and went back to the trench to search yet again. We then also Here decided to get a work on farming up all the milk that we would need. But for some reason, the trench was still not spawning eggs. So we made our way over to the Rock Drake area next. Threw out the Giga and went searching for the eggs that we would need. Luckily the radiation didn't kill us and now we were back and finally there were some eggs. We grabbed all the milk needed, teleported back home and the next morning I finished the saddles and I made my way over to the swamp cave since this place had some amazing high level insects, bears and thylers which would be ideal to get the army all leveled up. And with that, the killing started. We wiped the entire cave clean, quickly gaining a ton of XP because these things were seriously high level. I continued slaughtering the entire day while Sizen was still busy making veggie cakes. I even gained another level and finally the army was as leveled as they were gonna be. So I got ready to pod all of them up. Making veggie cakes is so much fun. Alrighty. Well, I'm ready. I will meet you. It's the island at the bottom left, right? And with that, we were on our way. Our army was ready. We had all the tributes, all the artifacts, everything that we would need to slay the fire-breathing dragon. I then started throwing out the army, naming them, leveling all of them up into melee and giving them their veggie cakes. But then we ran into an issue. Uh, see, the problem is we have to be level 100 to do this. Luckily, I was super close. I'm not far off. 
I'm like three quarters. Okay. So we came up with a plan. Went to grab all the runes we could possibly find. And once we had all the XP needed, we went in search to slay some alphas. I took down Alpha Rex. Boom. Oh, close but no cigar. Grabbed some more runes and went searching for yet another alpha. He's really bloody. There we go. And that's a level up. Let's go. Nice. As we were making our way back into the cave to take on the dragon, we had no idea. We were being pawns in the bigger plan of something very dark and sinister that was about to start. Firstly, let me say a huge thank you to Dread for building this amazing castle. Go and give him some support and love from the Kruger Ops family for making the Dark Lord's castle come to life. <laughs> Those fools. They have no idea they are about to take down the guardian of the prison. My master, soon I'll be able to free you and you'll be back at power to rule the lands again. <laughs> Meanwhile, we were getting ready to enter the arena. Ooh. Is everyone inside? Yep. Now, I'm not gonna lie, our nerves were killing us as the clock started ticking down. The dragon is one fight you do not want to mess up, as it is probably one of the toughest ones out there. Are you in? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Did you drink your wyvern's milk? I, I just drank it. I just drank it. Okay. Fireball. Fireball. I'm trying to save all my stamina for this fight. Dude, these things are shredding my health. What the hell? When I quickly looked over my shoulder and I saw the dragon come in to land for the first time, the moment of truth was here. As we sent in the theories to start attacking, Force fed our Anonicus some milk. I'm attacking, I'm doing bleed. And we went in to start our attack ourselves. Why is my bleed not working? There we go, okay. Nerves started to grow into confidence as this bleed was seriously shredding this dragon. Ah, uh, your bleed's still not working. Yeah, I see. There it goes, there it goes. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Oh, this is shredding it. Yeah, yeah. I can't see if they're getting bloody. Ooh, never mind. What the hell? Why is he not flying? We've got him glitched out or something. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. Oh, but, gosh. but of course, we jinxed ourselves and the dragon took to the A. He's still up there taking damage. That's awesome. But we needed every second for the theories to heal up, but it quickly ran out and he landed yet again. He's landed. Get ready. Oof. Right, don't aggro on us, don't aggro on us. No, my bleed's not. There we go. Yeah, shreds him when your bleed kicks in, but... Oh, now mine's not working. I think you can only bleed him out at, like, once. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> this is going to be close. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like being... Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Ready. I'm no, out of no, stamina. No, 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 no. I'm sending him. No, 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 not passive. No. Oh, wow. We only have, what, five theories left? Theory, what are you doing? Why are you stuck on me? Attack him. He's on me. He's on me. I had to quickly run away not to get trapped in his bites, but we were at the final stage now. So nerve-wracking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're so close. So close. I think theories? we've got one. We needed to give it everything we had as the theories were quickly dying. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. We got this. We got this. We got this. Let's yeah! go! <laughs> oh my gosh. And with that, we were finally victorious. This was definitely an intimidating fight. But now we had the final boss taken down, aside from redoing the Broodmother. So I got to farming to get the final things needed for the saddles. I grabbed some paste that Sizen had farmed out, had the final saddles ready to go, and my army was raising up. 
I then decided to make my castle look pretty for once. So I started working on some developments and built myself a nice tower out in the front as well as a courtyard tower. Things were really starting to look better. We were really starting to look like true kings. The next morning I continued building, expanding the works to where I was doing all my breeding, making all the materials that were needed and finally the renovations were about as done as they could be. I then continued breeding my rexes, not that I needed more rexes but the megatheriums needed XP and I was pretty lazy by this point. So I kept the good ones and all the ones not worthy I fed to the megatheriums to give them the final levels and XP that they would need. I then potted them all up, potted up my rex army and we got ready to go take on the brood mother. We were definitely feeling nervous the last time she shredded us but this time boy yeah, right. were we prepared. Let's do this. We were coming in with a lot better Megatheriums and a lot better saddles this time around. Her damage is minuscule compared to last time. The Megatheriums are taking like 39 damage, dude. Alright, we're already doing way better than last time. Last time all of our teams were dead at this point. <laughs> oh! Megatherium gone. Oh, I can see your Megatheriums right here in front of me. They're very bloody as well. Another one down. I have a feeling a lot are going to start dropping here shortly. Yeah. I think the Rexes are actually going to survive this. Ah, oh, she's so close. We definitely have this. Got it in the back. We got it. We got it. We got it. And with that, we were victorious. Finally, all three of the bosses were slain. As I made my way back the next morning, I spotted something strange at my castle, as there was a hole blown into the side of it, so I went over to investigate. What happened to my kitchen? Now this was pretty weird. My entire kitchen was gone. All the eggs I had collected for the Wyvern King was missing. I then displayed all my trophies and went paste farming. Hey Kruger, I'm at your base. Are you ready to start grinding? Since I wanted to do my final renovations. What do you mean grinding? Grinding what? Well, we still need to prepare for the... What the hell? Yo, yo, yo! What? Are you at, are you at your base? No, I'm out. I'm getting paste. Are you sure about that? Yes. No. Vegeta? Dude, I just had like six teams die. How? I don't know. Now, I wasn't sure if he was being serious as that definitely seemed a bit weird. But regardless, I wasn't really open on what I needed to do next. I mean, we were as ready as we were gonna be. We had no idea where to find the Wyvern King. But then I stumbled upon something great. A pink and green Giga and I knew I wanted this. So I trapped it in and got ready to start taming up the Giga. I mean this was Sizen and Kruger colors. But what the... Then I noticed something. Okay great now something of mine just died. My tame started dying. Did it really? And not just any tames. I mean fine. The Magmasaur I wouldn't mind much over. But Sizen was definitely acting a bit strange. And then I saw the notification. <gasps> Alright, screw this Giga. What the hell is going on? Strange enough, I spotted Sizen flying away from my base. And I knew something was up. And then I found the corpses. Not okay. As I looked on in disbelief, I heard a wyvern flying overhead and I went over to investigate. And I saw it was the Wyvern King. Give me a second, I have a visitor. I don't want to point any fingers, but I did see your purple haired friend fly over here and pick all your eggs up and then eat them, murmuring something about how only he should be a powerful king and you not being worthy or something. Just be careful, I've seen this many times my friend, there can only be one king, perhaps the time came where your friend realised this, I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this bad news. 
I couldn't believe my ears. But then I spotted this purple and green Giga, and I just thought this would be the perfect peace offering. So I grabbed it and made my way over to Sizen's castle. And what I would see would send shivers down my spine, as he was preparing an army. Clearly, this friendship was over, and it was time for me to retaliate. So the next day, I raised all my Gigas, Rexes and Wyverns that I had. Threw them out to start preparing my forces as well as my castle walls for the attack that lied ahead. Word quickly got out about the feud, and I even had some old friends that came to my aid. Your Majesty, we are here to serve by your side in this final fight. So this is what it's come to. Oh, it's like that, huh? And with that, marked the war between the two kingdoms. We tasted out each other's strengths by starting with some easier dinos. Alright, let it begin then. But Sizen interfered as he came with his overpowered lightning wyvern. I knew I had to retaliate. So I went to grab some Rexes. Well, I do have to retreat, but I'll be back. So I formed a line to strike some fear in his heart. Oh my goodness. You're actually doing some damage, aren't you? You're not so strong without that UD, are you? But Sizen was playing dirty and he made things personal. No, lemon lime. Now, it was on as I got all my Rexes to take down all his Spinos. <laughs> his army was no power against mine. But of course he came with some Gigas to surprise attack me. Oh, who's the big man now? Luckily, I had a pocket Giga on me, and I threw it out just in time as he brought a second wave of Gigas. <laughs> Jupiter! No! I don't know how I survived that. So, by the next morning, I lined up all my Gigas, ready to face him off one final time. And then I saw what he was marching with. A Titanosaur, one of the strongest on the map. <laughs> Let everything fall. But there was no time to back off. I gave it everything I had. I nearly burned to death and went in for one more attack. But then we heard something. What is that thing? Is that something of yours? No, 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 no. That is not mine. Okay, can we, can we just call a brief truce right now? What? What? My castle's getting blown up. You, you might want to look up. Oh my god! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I, I might need help. There's just, there's just too many here. Hold on. Oh, dude, where are you? You gotta tell me. Okay, oh, get this down. I'm running to the front of my castle. I need help. As I ran for my life and have Sizen rescue me, I looked on at my castle that was about to be overran. So I grabbed everything that was valuable. Are you, are you okay? Do you still need my help? Grabbing blueprints and eggs. No, 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 no. We need to get out of here. Those gigas coming and in. And then making a run for it. Oh. Kruger, you need to get out oh, now. I, see it. I, see it. I had barely escaped with my life. Are you out? Are you I'm out? out? I'm out. I'm out. Friends? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. You know, we're gonna have to combine forces and take that guy down. Finally, with the eggs of ten, the dragon head from the prison den. I offer to you these valued things to bring me back the ruler of all kings. Now, now rise, rise up, up Lord, Lord Morgoth. Morgoth. Master, the plan has worked. The feud has started. By the time they realize what is going on, their armies will be too weak. Ah, excellent. But be patient, young one. We need you to get these two separate because together their strengths are too strong. Soon our time will come. Now we had no idea about the forces that's been awakened, but we couldn't care less, as we had less than 7 days to get our armies ready. 
since they got entirely wiped out. So the next several days, filled with a lot of breeding, breeding for mutations, restarting the lines, keeping all the babies that we could use for experience and slowly the army was starting to come together. I finally got an amazing mutation, nearly 400 melee on hatch along with 10,000 health. This was an army to be reckoned with. By the next morning the first five were done and it was time for me to start working on the saddles for them. So of course I finally took a mind wipe, made myself a crafter and crafted saddles that were close to 120. We even gave ourselves some OP fur and then slaughtered all the Rexes and Spiners that didn't make the cut for the final boss fight, earning these Rexes close to 45,000 health and just near 540 melee. They were definitely being as strong as we would need and now the time has come. After a nice relaxing evening we made our way over, made sure they were all in the summoning chambers. Ready? I'm ready. And we got ready to take on Fenrir. Oh, okay. Is everything in? Uh, yeah, it looks like everything's here. And not just any Fenrir, we were going for Alpha. Alright, ooh. I just oh, got boy. launched into the air. Wait for him. And so it begins. Oh my god, I'm so scared. The most nerve-wracking fights. Everything built up to this very moment. Alright, now majority wolves shouldn't come to we us. Go. We're on the good cliff. Oh man, I am so scared. Dude, this damage is going really slow. Oh, I need to switch to my fur. Oh yeah, now. Hurry. This wolf had so many tricks up his sleeve. Oh wow, that was close to hitting me. That's good. Oh, oh damn, that hit you. Just re remount something if you can. I don't okay. know how I survived that. And this, my good friends, is <laughs> why we did too. health builds. We were each on nearly a thousand health. Oh, Fenrir's are coming up. We were taking this thing down. It's below half. We weren't gonna stop. We were giving it our I all. See a lot of blood right now. Another Spino dead. Our army was starting to fall very quickly. Oh, that is not a good time to freeze. That is not a good time to freeze. But we weren't gonna give up. Another Spino. We got four, four five Spinos left. We were giving it everything oh. we got. Two more Spinos just died. Oh. We were getting so close. Ooh, watch out. Oh my gosh, man. It's so close. Uh, another week. Another week. Our army was trembling. Oh my god. We were down to just four. Dude, I think we've got... Oh, four Rexes left. <coughs> four Rexes. But we were so close. We needed to pull this one through. Uh, I think we have four and then the one you're on. Ooh, I'm frozen. Oh, we are so close. Come on. Let's go, boys. Yes, literally yes. no help us. <laughs> and with that, we had our victory. And it was time to say goodbye. Of all the money that ever I had, I spent it in good company. And all the harm that e'er I've done Alas, it was to none but me And all I've done for want of a wit To memory now I can't So fell to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Sorry for my going away And all the sweethearts that e'er I've loved They'd wish me one more day to stay But since it falls 
unto my lot that I should rise and you should I'll gently rise and softly call Good night and joy be with you all Good night and joy 